Hello there, again. Um, been in a while, hasn't it? Uh, I, I have had a few things happen in the last few days, and there are some things that I really do want to address, but, um, one thing in, in particular that I want to address is, uh, all the rumors that keep flying around, um, it amuses the crap out of me that, um, you know, everybody, for all their talk of how, you know, nobody cares about that Spider-Man franchise anymore, and, you know, they need to stop trying to make it happen, yada yada. People still follow every single tiny little smidgen of rumor that ever comes out of there on a religious level. Usually to find an excuse to justify why it sucks, they don't know what they're doing, and it needs to go back to Marvel. And with every single rumor that has come out, it has been the penultimate proof that Sony sucks, they don't know what they're doing, and they need to give the franchise back to Marvel. And almost every single rumor that winds up popping up goes nowhere. It's not a real thing. It's not really an issue. And it was basically people freaking out over nothing. This has happened since the first movie. It happened when um, people were, like, uh, Devin Faraci at Badass Digest was saying that, you know, oh, Sony execs hated the film, I heard it myself, and then it turns out the dude wasn't even where he said he was when he supposedly heard them say it. Um, and for people who hate the movie and have no faith in its future, boy, they sure as heck were pretty quick to... Uh, you know, try to keep it going rather than sell off this sinking ship and, you know, make money off it while they could, right, right. Um, but he is also the primary source of the rumor that Peter Parker got his powers from his father, and that is something that to this day has persisted, and a lot of people insist was proven right, even though it wasn't, because even though... Here's the deal. His dad made those spiders require his DNA. Is that DNA going to be in his son? Yes, yes it is. His father, however, also tried to destroy all of them. Knew he didn't get them all, but figured he got most of them. And he hid. Or tried to. He took off. Now, here's the thing. When the when he did that, he did that purely for the purposes of locking his research, so that the people at Oscorp could never replicate what he had done. He had no way of knowing that ten years in the future, his his boy, his son, would find his way back to that company, get into the highly secured room. Then then get bitten by one of those spiders after it received the little radioactive jolt. No way he could have possibly known that. But people are saying that, again, he gave Peter his powers. No. It's still a complete accident. Now, is it unique that it could only work with him? Yes, it is. And you know what, though? That's actually something that's been explored in Spider-Man comic lore, but that's not something I'm going to get into right now. The point is, it's still an accidental bite. But, <laughs> but people insist that that actually happened. There were all kinds of rumors flying around everywhere. There have been rumors flying around about the Spider-Man franchise ever since Spider-Man 3. Almost all of them negative. A lot of them ridiculous. And people have believed them. Uh, for example, Aunt May was supposed to become Carnage in Spider-Man 4. And people believed that. Now, I'm no fan of Raimi's Spider-Man movies, but even I know that he wouldn't pull something like that. I mean, he doesn't even like the symbiotes, for crying out loud. And so to make Aunt May one of them, when there's no comic basis for that, plus he'd be shoehorning in another character he didn't want to use, I don't see that. I mean, common sense would tell you right there that's a no-no. Plus, they outright confirmed who the villains were going to be, and... This is not that. But there are still people who say that we're going to try to do that. 
I'm not kidding. But more recent, and then you know you have all these rumors about Spider-Man Two and who's what, and what happened to who, and uh, like ninety percent of those turned out to be complete BS. And the only reason that the ones were right is because they were pretty much common sense guesstimates, all from different sources who, while being right about this, said this was also a guarantee, and it didn't happen. They threw crap against the wall, basically, and hoped something would stick, and it did, and therefore they are now going to be the uh, trusted Spider-Man source, I guess. But that's the thing. Now the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is out, and although it was a commercial success, and audiences accepted it far better than critics, everyone has fallen into it was terrible mode. It was a horrible film. It had none of this and that, even though it pretty clearly did, and I've pointed it out to people, and the only response I get is you're in denial, even though I pointed to exactly what they said it didn't have. It's one of those things where it's just bugging the crap out of me. But the hate bandwagon has gotten so strong, and the rumor bandwagon, again, I mean, people just looking for a reason to hate it, that a freaking rumor that is possibly the most ridiculous, and the moment you heard it, common sense would have told you, no, that's not going to happen. Most ridiculous thing is that there was supposedly going to be an Aunt May movie. No Spider-Man, no Peter Parker, nothing. Just about Aunt May when she was young. And they were going to try to turn it into some kind of spy thriller. Sounds ridiculous. Sounds completely implausible. But according to the rumor mills, that's exactly why it was going to happen. It was happening. This was a guaranteed thing. This is something that a super duper ultra mega trusted source said was happening. Mm-hmm. Said definitely it was happening. And, but even before that, you know, Sony says we're we're going to do a female led spinoff, and this is why people think it's possible. Because then a rumor started that oh no, it's 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 not going to be a single female. It's going to be a team. No, you. Don't have any female supers. I mean, even if you wanted to do a movie where Felicia, for whatever weird reason in this universe, does become Black Cat. Who else? Spider-Woman? Okay, but would that make sense? Right now? Probably not. You know, so it's just one of those things that really seems unlikely. If they're going to do one, they'd have to focus on probably just the one. I mean, you know, that would be common sense. Uh, it's possible they might try to do a team. I'm not necessarily sure that's a good idea, but at least that one's somewhat plausible. But an Aunt May movie? Really? A young Aunt May movie. Where Aunt May is something that she pretty much... Where Aunt May pretty much becomes... Um what Richard and Mary were in 616, which is S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, spies, saboteurs. Mm -mm. Common sense is no, but that one trends all over the internet. It's all over Facebook. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Twitter. In the space of like a couple hours, everyone was talking about it laughing at it, saying this is the final nail in the coffin, Sony needs to just give it back to Marvel, they don't know what the hell they're doing, everybody laughed about it, all these people who tried to adopt this I told you so attitude, but not a single person did what the only stinking news outlet to uh, actually do their journalistic job did and contact the company and wait for verification. They they reported the rumor, but they also made it clear it was a rumor. And then they heard back from one of the reps at the studio, and you know what? They actually said outright that that's actually one of the silliest rumors they've heard. And in no way is it even in consideration right now. But you know what? 
You know how many people have picked up on that retraction? Pretty much none. Pretty much none. All these people ran with it, spread it all over, laughed about it, said it was the final nail in the coffin, and you know what? Didn't happen. Not gonna happen. If people are looking for any excuse to just cut the legs out from under this franchise and tank it, thinking that if it goes to Marvel, Marvel's instantly just going to rush it to the forefront and it'll be 100% totally accurate with absolutely no flaws because, well, it's not like Marvel's recent track record with Spider-Man's been bad or anything, right? Right? Hmm. But anyway, uh, I digress. They, they were so all over that, and now that it's been debunked, hardly anyone will even talk about that. I am to this day seeing people post about how this Aunt May movie is coming, and it's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. And when you show them, you know what they say? Doesn't matter... The fact that this was even a rumor means that they talked about it. And that's proof they don't know what they're doing and the rights need to go back to Marvel. This is what I mean. Damage gets done when you do stuff like this. People have this really bizarre idea that nothing can ever possibly be fabricated in Hollywood if they discussed it. That If it's a rumor, that means they discussed it and were considering it. And so now they don't trust the company with it. See, people used to wonder why in the world people come up with some of these really crazy rumors and try to spread them on the internet. This right here. This stuff is exactly why. Because it does push them closer to their agenda. Their agenda being that they want this to fail. It's been no secret for a long time people wanted this to fail. People wanted the reboot to fail before it ever got out the gate so that they'd start making Raimi's Spider-Man movies again. Other people wanted it to fail right out of the gate because once Marvel started doing the cinematic universe, they thought it should be part of Marvel's cinematic universe. It's just been a non-stop hate brigade for various reasons. And it's gotten beyond ridiculous. And all these people stomping their feet and making demands and putting their fingers in their ears and insisting on believing what they want to believe and spreading it around to people are uh, trying their darndest to make something happen. I'll tell you, <clears throat> it gets old, you know, it, it, it gets old. And now, like I said, damage done. Damage done, people already think it's happening, and by the time they find out, well, there's going to be a new rumor sparked right up. By the time the truth gets out, there'll be a new rumor about what they're doing, even if they're not doing it. And I know a lot of people are also spreading these rumors because they're trying to basically spark Sony to talk about Sinister Six. Don't do that. Don't. You're not going to get them to talk about it faster doing that. You're just going to hurt them and push it more and more to the brink of just them giving up. On something unique that we've never had before. Just because you want Spider-Man to be yet another background character that gets ignored beyond Tony Stark. Maybe a little bit of Steve Rogers and Loki. Yeah, see, that that's another thing. I really can't stand the idea of seeing Spider-Man's villains get the, get the MCU treatment. Where if your name ain't Loki, you don't have a backstory worth telling. So you're this flat little two-dimensional, basically, <clears throat> just obstacle to be overcome. Look what they did to Malik. Look what they did to Ronan the Accuser. Look what they did to... Oh, gosh, who else... <clears throat> like what they almost did with Mandarin. And look what they did to um Whiplash. Look what they did to Red Skull. Look what they did to <sighs> Oh 
just so much uh, I mean these are the same people that will cheer over characters be com being completely displaced in, in the MCU having everything about them stripped away and then becoming just an ancillary character a supporting character to someone else who gets their title and we're talking about uh, you know, people who will support a studio that is going to put major story arcs on hold, completely on hold, to pursue a completely unneeded and frankly nonsensical Civil War story arc. Thanos, back burner. Bucky, back burner. We're going to put that off in favor of Civil War. But, you know, they can't do no wrong. Because Marvel. <sighs> You'll accept that, but you won't accept even small deviations in the Sony Spider-Man films. Unless, of course, Sam Raimi did these small or even far, far bigger deviations, then you'll accept that, I'm sure. Yeah. But why? Because Marvel. Marvel can do no wrong. In Whedon we trust. All that nonsense. <sighs> Alright, well that's it for this one. And I... Hmm, I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm just sad. I'll catch you guys later.